So now I'm recording the North American Nebula with audio. So we're, I don't know if the audio is picking up or not. But I'm going to record that while I'm capturing. Because I'm only on image number 3 out of 10. So I have another 13 minutes. Yeah. But that's... That's that is impressive. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It, it's centered on that one right now and set it on 90 seconds. Let me see. Yeah. Get. But I mean, when I was over here, which is where they consider the center of it, mm -hmm. you don't see the boo. It's, you know, it's just too big. I mean, with a, with my Malachem Extreme, I'd catch just the Gulf of Mexico and, and the Mexican region. That would be mm -hmm. all I'd catch. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm shooting for now. Yeah. Because it's. Or an 8mm chip versus a 28mm chip. Oh, big difference. I mean, this, they say this is not as sensitive as the other camera. I'm doing 2x2 two two binning to increase some of the sensitivity. But uh, Not as sensitive as which camera? As the Extreme or the X2. Really? It's not. The chip is not as sensitive. Boy, it sure fooled it, me. It, it sure looks a lot better, I'll tell you, Jack. <laughs> but the field I, of view is... <laughs> well, the, uh, I'm just from what I see, I would have thought this one was more. I, I was telling the, the lady and gentleman from Primeland the other day, I said, if they want to show people stuff at that resort, and they're dealing with generally the, the bright objects like mm -hmm. the Messiers, they have a C-14 with a hyperstar, you get a universe. <laughs> yeah, then you, then you have pinpoint stars... And they're in a fairly, I guess, fairly dark skies with uh, Meadows of Dan. Yeah. That's not very far from here, really. Yeah, they came over here to, was it Thursday night? They came Thursday. over? Thursday. Yeah, they mm -hmm. came over it's Thursday probably night. probably 30 miles to the east. Yeah. yeah. Right on the parkway. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That is, wow. <laughs> oh, don't go to sleep. Ah, darn it. Yeah, this was, uh... Worth the trip to Ecuador just to see that. <sighs> yeah, it reconnected. It didn't lose the network. Okay, good. Which one am I on now? Uh, uh, number fives. And what's the price difference between this camera and the Excalibur? Oh, well, the not Exterminator, Excal Exterminator is seventeen fifty. This is nineteen hundred. Not uh, that much different. They're not that much different. With the exterminator, you could, you wouldn't see this wide of a field of view because it, it, it's a small chip, but it's so sensitive that you can see a lot of stuff in eight to ten seconds, as opposed to ninety seconds. Yeah. It, there's trade-offs. I can only see <coughs> the this, gulf. This right here. Okay. I can't. I can't even get. You the, can't get the whole gulf. Can't even get the whole gulf. It's okay. right. That's part right. If I didn't. Look at this, I wouldn't know what I had over there. Okay. But I'm centered on this puppy right here. Okay. I'm going to go over here and look and see. Well, it's, well, this is grabbing. I'm going to go take a look at it. Oh, I'm blinded by the light.
Yeah. Let's see. Seven exposures down. 